three people were shot, including one person who is believed to have died, and a gunman, who opened fire at a suburban New York grocery store, is on the loose Tuesday morning, according to local reports. The incident happened at the supermarket in the Cherry Valley Shopping Center at around 11 a.m. Are we good on this set? Is everybody ready? All, set. All right, Commissioner of Police Patrick Wright is going to give you the details of the incident that occurred right, today. So we're ready Stand to by. We're getting here. Commissioner, come to us. All right, good afternoon. I'm going to give you some. You all right? Am I getting the mic? I'm not getting the mic. Come grab a hold. All right, here we go. So, again, good afternoon. I'm going to give you some brief details about the shooting that occurred down the street here. I'm not going to take a lot of questions. It's an ongoing investigation. At approximately 1119 this morning, at the stop and shop at the 50 Cherry Valley Avenue here in West Hempstead, it was an active shooter. Right this time, we have one subject that is, has been killed and two others that have been wounded. The deceased is a male, approximately 49 years of age. The other two victims are at area hospitals right now. They are conscious and alert, speaking to law enforcement, and will wait to notification to family. We do have a person of interest. A person of interest. His name is Gabriel DeWitt Wilson. It's the best picture I can give you right now is on my phone. Gabriel DeWitt Wilson, date of birth, 2-17-1990. He's got Long Beach and Hempstead addresses. He was or may still be an employee of the Stop and Shop. We're not sure. We're trying to confirm that now. He is a male black. He is six foot two. He is approximately 30 years of age. He's wearing a black baseball hat, a black sweatshirt, and he was last seen westbound here on the turnpike. We have over 150 assets out here right now looking for Mr. DeWitt to question him about the, the events that occurred here today. Um, he did have a small handgun. That is what the witnesses have given to us. And again, we're out there looking for him now. I'll try to see what questions I can ask. Commissioner, can you can you say if this was some type of workplace dispute that led him to shoot? So the, the investigation is ongoing. We don't know the reason for the shooting. We know that he did shoot one of the employees and kill him and two that are wounded. Where did the shooting happen in the store? So the, the shooting happened upstairs in the manager's office, in the upstairs office area. I don't have that information at this time. He did at least work there at one time. We're not sure if he's still employed by them at this time. Did he say anything? Were any words exchanged? Uh, we don't have that. It's still ongoing. Were any of the shoppers threatened? Still ongoing. We probably had a couple of hundred shoppers in the store at the time. You saw the line trying to get out. We stopped the question to make sure we have anybody that was a witness. Their information is being given to our homicide unit who's doing the investigation. Is he considered our The public sees him, what are they supposed Absolutely. to do? Absolutely. So, so this is a person of interest. That person of interest, we believe, is the shooter. Again, but as we wait, he left the scene and he was with, still carrying the handgun. What do you do if you see him? You call 911. You always call 911. Let us do our job. We have our offices out and about in the areas now. Do you, do you know how many shots were fired? I do not know. I'm going at this time. We're hearing he's on a public bus. Say it again? Yeah, he was wearing all black, as I gave it to you a second ago, yes. He, was he on a public bus? Did he get away on a public bus? I don't have that information. I know it's just that he went westbound on the turnpike. We don't know his priors. Um, and, and again, we're getting all that as we're developing it now. Judge, was there a plan in place for if an active shooter is ever in this store? What happened? What type of protocols were followed? So, so the protocols and what to do in an active shooter always are designed sometimes on on the fly but from our standpoint about what we do and what and what we've done and spoken to many of our critical infrastructure um, stores here in, in the county is we tell them what to do in the event of an active shooter and again it's always calling 911 first and get that description out was this office an area that only he he would have known people who worked in the store would know I, I did not walk into the crime scene so who it's called, still ongoing who called 911? I don't have that at this time no, I do not. They're still victims. We have to notify families. So what happened? People just all started running at once to exit? I don't have any of that. I wasn't there at the time. But again, this is ongoing. It's active. We'll get back to you with more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody stay here. We're going to keep Can you updated the as the day progresses. Yeah, I'm going to get the picture out. It's going to be coming from my office. Uh, I'll get that all distributed so you can put it out there. Thank you. Thank you.